Welcome to another edition of Talking Miles. Today's painting tutorial is going to be on the Karloff Pierce tribute piece by Typhon Studios out of Ireland. Mike Calvert is the owner of Typhon Studios, a great guy, and this beauty was sculpted by none other than Jeff Yeager. Now, if you remember the Janus tribute that they did of the Karloff Pierce, which is a sought after kit. This is kind of a scaled down piece, still capturing the master applying the makeup. You have to envision this piece as if they're looking into the mirror and uh, Karloff is checking his monster. Why Pierce is kind of checking to see how the makeup is going, brush in hand, and getting transforming Mr. Karloff into the monster. Now, Typhon Studios has ended uh, their run on this kit and rumor has it there's a producer in the US taking this one over. So if you missed out on the original run from Mike, hold on because it's becoming available once again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what I did to bring this beautiful piece to life. So if you're ready, and you're ready, well, let's go. I started by priming the complete piece with automotive gray primer. I then base coated uh, the kit using Anita Black. I wanted just to uh, start with some deep shadows on the kit itself. So the monster was uh, all base coated in black. So, with the monster, I base coated uh, the face and the hands using Freak Flex Franken Flesh, and then shade it using transparent black, and also pulled out some Garage US transparent Mars Red for the area under the eyes, the scars, and also the lips. Pulled out some Freak Flex Silver Bullet for the neck bolts and the staple on the head. At this point I brought out my Freak Flex bleach bone tan and I painted in the eyes. So once again I uh, deepened the base uh, color for the jacket and shirt with Delta Cream Coat Black. You see I'm building up my layers of black. I had my uh, base colors done on the monster's head and hands and now it was time to uh, build up some uh, colors for the jacket. So I came back up to the eyes and I used Delta Cream Coat Black and uh, painted in the eyes and Garage US Tongue was used for the lower eyelid area and for the eye color for the monster I pulled out Freestyle Cocoa Brown and used that. And you want to leave a hint of the black showing so you just kind of want to paint it in and just a slow steady hand. Now time to add the final highlights to the monster. I added more highlights of the face and hands with the original color Frankenflesh. Near black was used for the highlights on the jacket. Now for the veining I used a Wada Rogel's Vein Flesh and then pulled out some Freak Flex Sunburn Red for the center of the scars. And again, you got to go back with the process, the shading on the monster's face with transparent black. And then, of course, you've got the uh, shading for the veins, the skin. So it's a process of uh, going back and forth. Now, the uh, Freak Flex Body Bake Black was used for the hair. And I always like to take that and spray like the outer edging of the hair lining where it meets the face. It just gives it a nice, smooth transition. And believe it or not, the monster was done. On to the body. I highlighted the shirt using Freak Flex Dead Guy Gray. And for the jacket, I highlighted the jacket using the Free Flex Near Black. And of course, shade it uh, using Transparent Black. Again, that's a process of going back and forth, back and forth, until you get, you know, exactly what you're looking for. And uh, after that, I uh, moved on to the chair. So for the chair, I sprayed the chair area using Garage US Dark Red 
and shade it using transparent black and highlight it using sunburn red. The chair brackets on the side were primed using Badger Styler S Black and dry brush using Freak Flex Silver Bullet. And that was all I did to the body of the monster. And, and this monster completely was done. On to the base. I always liked this base that uh, Jeff sculpted. It's uh, just a canister that they kept the film in. Eastman Kodak Company was on it. So for that canister, I base the base I painted it with uh, Delta Cream Coat Black and used Freak Flex Dead Guy Gray for the canister area. And Anita Metallic Black was used for the outer ring and also the lettering. And of course then I shaded everything with the transparent black. Now for the center piece, I sprayed the bottom area with Freak Flex Silver Bullet and Delta Cream Coat Black for the pole section and the center section at the bottom. Because to me it was like the canister, but the uh, center part was part of the chair base that they sat on. Very nicely designed. So I kind of did black with that and the uh, center of the post, if you will. And then of course I quieted down the base using uh, transparent black. And I sealed the base using freestyle flat coat and sealed the eyes for the monster with Tamiya Clear. Now, on to Mr. Pierce. Jack was base coated using gray primer. And I sprayed the face and arm using Freak Flex Suntan Flesh and highlighted using Freak Flex Pale Flesh. I painted in the hair and mustache using Delta Cream Coat Black and shaded the face using transparent Mars Red. You want to kind of hit that in the cheek area, below the eyes, top of the nose, just some, uh, put some color in his face. And I like to paint in the hair and everything, that way it gives me an idea how my skin is going. I added more highlights to the face using Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and pulled out some Reaper Tan Shadow and started shading in areas of the face. Now for his coat, I base coated the coat using Freak Flex Turn Ghost White and shaded the 5 o'clock shadow on Jack's face using transparent black. Note, you need to be very careful with that. You want to do a very low uh, spray of that, otherwise it's just going to look too stark. So it's uh, just a little bit of trigger control. Don't get too close because then it pulls and just a nice smooth spray action and you'll get that five o'clock shadow. So I returned to the face with more highlighting using Freak Flex Pale Flesh and more shading to the face using Transparent Mars Red and the Reaper Tan Shadow. Now for Jack's eyes, I painted that in using the uh, Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan. Now it was time for final highlighting to Mr. Pierce. I added more highlighting once again to the face with the Garage Kit Flesh and more shading to the face using Transparent Mars Red. I added more highlights to the coat and the hair when using just uh, different uh, grays for the hair. I want to give them a little bit of an age look to them. And of course the hairlines were accented with that uh, Freak Flex Body Bag Black. So for Jack's eyes, I painted in the eyes using Body Bake Black and Reaper Knoll Brown for the eye color. At this point, I dry brushed some more highlights of the hair using Delta Cream, I'm sorry, Freak Flex Dead Guy Gray and toned down the dry brushing with Transparent Black. I returned back to the eyes and I painted in the lower eyelid area using Graduous Tongue and Delta Cream Coat Black for the pupils. Now for the uh, coat, I shaded the coat using transparent Payne's Gray. And of course, going back with the process, shading with the trans black, uh, rehitting the highlights with the original color, the turn goes white, and just a back and forth process. Now the eyes, I sealed the eyes using Tamiya Clear and Freestyle Flat Coat for the figure. <coughs> and believe it or not, Jack was done. 
Now this is just a, you know, guys, this is just, as you can see, it's just a beautiful piece. You know, just uh, Jeff has captured uh, Karloff as the monster, Jack Pierce. I'm going to kind of spin it around for you so you can just see the side. Go to the back. Go back to the side. And then, of course, back to the front. Like I said, this is just a beautiful kit. And lucky for you collectors, uh, it's coming back into production from a producer in the U.S. So look forward to that. I don't have any contact information for that new producer because we don't know who that is yet. So you'll just have to keep your eyes on the hobby boards on Facebook. And I'm sure once they are ready, they will make the major announcement and you'll be able to pick up this beauty. So that's it for today's episode of uh, Talking Models Painting Tutorial on the Karloff Pierce beautiful one quarter scale kit. You get a lot here. It's just a ton of stuff included with this. Now if you haven't subscribed to us, here's the plug, plug, plug. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. Maybe you'll be one of those. I would greatly appreciate it. So thanks again for stopping in. I pray that you enjoy the day, you know, because this is the day that the Lord has made and we need to be glad and rejoice in it. Our circumstances may be hard, may be difficult. Maybe we're going through something that is just uh, hard. Just remember, it's don't say it's a bad day. Just say you're having a day because if you line that up with this is the day that the Lord has made, then that day should be one you rejoice in despite your circumstances. So thanks again for stopping in, and as always, may the Lord bless your day.